Investigation of Curves, Section 4, Envelopes and Arc Length. Video 4, Envelopes. When we plot a family of curves, we can sometimes see a curve that every curve in the family touches. This is known as the envelope of a curve. Now, to explain what I mean, there's a practical activity that you might want to pause the video and then try. So here are the instructions. This is to fold a parabola using an A4 sheet of paper. You start by folding it in half long ways to create a y-axis and then draw that in with a pen or a pencil and then mark a point a couple of inches from the bottom edge on that y-axis. Then you're going to fold the bottom edge of the paper so that it goes through that point perpendicularly and that creates the x-axis and again you'll want to draw that on with a pen. Once you've got your axes you can make repeated folds so that the bottom edge goes through the point and that can go at any angle. And then that set of lines starts to form this shape of a parabola. Let me show you what this looks like in GeoGebra. So here's my y-axis, which is the vertical axis of my paper. And then this solid line is the bottom edge of the paper, which I've folded up to make my x-axis. Now I can choose any point along this bottom edge and fold it up to the point I've chosen. And this will give the set of lines you can see. I've got the trace turned on here. And you can see a curve is starting to form there. And that curve is the envelope. So looking at one particular point here, when I fold that over to the point I've chosen on my y-axis, I get the perpendicular bisector of those two points. And then as I put all of those perpendicular bisectors together, you can see the parabola, which I can show you in green just there. Now, if I want to find the equation of the envelope, what I need to do is I need to find all of these points that are just touching the envelope. So on each of these lines, there is a point that is just touching my green line. If I can find that set of points and an equation to describe them, I'll have an equation for my envelope. So let's have a look at how we can find the equation of the envelope. Well, I've got here two curves from a family and I've got a dotted line which is showing the envelope of this family. Now, these particular two curves are both from a family of parabolas, but the same technique will work regardless of which curves I'm using. And we've got two points on the curve. So I've got P1, which is on this curve here, and that's just touching the envelope. And then P2 on my second curve is the point which is just touching the envelope. So I want to be able to express P1 and P2. Now I'm using a small change between P1 and P2. So I express the function parametrically using X, Y and P, and that's my first curve. And then my second curve is in terms of X, Y and P plus delta P. So for curve one, for P1, the parameter is P. And then for the second curve for P2, the parameter is P plus delta P. Now, in order to use the technique that I want to use, I need to express my function with zero on the right hand side. So F of X, Y and P equals zero and F of X, Y and P plus delta P equals zero. So if I was looking at the family Y equals X squared plus K, I would rewrite this as Y minus X squared minus K equals zero. And as a convention, we usually use P as our parameter. So y minus x squared minus p equals zero. So I know that f of x, y and p equals zero. And I also know that f of x, y and p plus delta p equals zero. So I can consider the difference between them. So f of x and y and p plus delta p minus f of x, y and p. And I know that this is just 0 take away 0, so that's going to be equal to 0. Now I'm going to consider what happens as delta p tends to 0. 
Well, what we've got here should remind you of differentiation from first principles. So I've got a small change here and then I'm subtracting something without that small change. So what I can do is if I were to divide all of this by delta P and then consider the limit as delta P tends to zero, this should look very like the definition of a derivative from first principles. Now it's not exactly the same because I've got a multivariable function here. But this is something called a partial derivative. And I write it using curly d's. So I write partial the f by dp. This is the partial derivative. And I've got that this is equal to 0. If you're studying the extra pure option, you may have already met partial derivatives. But if you haven't, it's worth looking up in a textbook so you can get some insight into where all of this comes from. But basically, all you need to do is treat x and y as if they're constant, and you just work out the derivative of the function with respect to p. So let's summarise that then. So to find the equation of an envelope, first of all, I write the equation of the family of curves in the form f of x, y and p equals 0, where p is a parameter. Then I find the partial derivative df by dp with these curly d's. This is finding the derivative as if it was just a function of p with x and y treated as constants. And then I have a function f of x, y and p equals 0. And df by dp partial derivative equals 0. I eliminate p from these two equations. And then that gives me a function of x and y, which is the envelope. In this video, you've learnt the definition of the envelope of a family of curves.